Hey everyone, this is the last section from our free trading lessons for beginners. Now we are entering into the final and, in my opinion, the most important part, risk management. As you know, we are GM Trading Bulgaria, a branch of a successful French trading firm. And if you want to find more about our services or our trading results, you can find everything on the website that I'm showing you here. Now let's observe the plan. This is a section 4 and it is about risk management. I decided to split this section on two parts. Today we are going to speak more about trade management and money management. And into the last lesson we are going to observe more about the trading habits which can improve your risk management. Now, let's begin. What is trade management? The trade management is representing your ability to have a variety of positions in your portfolio which are distributed in different sectors and with different trading plans behind all of them. In this way, even if you have some losing trades, you can manage your other trades accordingly and in the end to be profitable. With proper trade management, you can determine the size of your positions in a way to have more size into the safer one and less size into the risky one. Now, why it is important? Based on everything what I just explained to you, with the proper trade management, it is very easy to maximize your profit and minimize your losses. Furthermore, the trade management is helping us to differentiate the good trading plans, which are worth it to be tried, from the bad ones in which the potential risk is more than the potential return. Now, how can we use it in our advantage? Well, here it is probably good to mention that most of the traders have their own trade management tactics. What I'm doing is to choose several securities which I'm trading very often and where I'm most of the time profitable. And as soon as I see trade opportunity in one of these securities, I'm trading there with more aggressive strategy and my portfolio management is focused mainly on them. In this way, I can have additional confidence into my trades and when they're not performing very well, but they're still far from my stop loss, I can lead them to develop in order to turn profitable in the end. We already briefly discussed why the trade management is important, but in basis of this, align three very important factors. If you master them with the combination of good trade management, you'll be a profitable trader. The factors are overnight positions, upcoming news, and applying flexible strategy. For the overnight positions, it is very important to leave mostly the ones that are going with the main trend. In this way, we have less chance to have a gap into the morning, which is going to take us out of the position. The upcoming news are kind of related with the overnight positions. This is due to the fact that if you leave a position overnight, it is very likely to react strongly on a news which is published before the market opens. This could lead to a panic selling or strong buying pressure. The both situations could either work in your favor or harm you. It just depends on which side of the market you position yourself. Nevertheless, in both cases, you just have to be careful with such a situations. That's why it is very important to follow and analyze the news. You can find more about this in the lesson 6 from our free trading series for beginners. And last but not least is to adjust your strategy. You have to be flexible and change your trend management when this is needed. In this way, you can preserve as much as possible from your unrealized profit, even though the position is not yet on your main target. Also, you can close it before the stop loss in order to minimize the losses. Now we are coming to the risk management. So, what is risk management? Well, the simplest definition is that it is a trading approach which is allowing us to differentiate the risk from our different trading positions. With a proper risk management, we can even continue going and keep trading even though we are in a bad series and most of our trades are losing one. So, why do we need it? Well, apart from the stuff that I already told you, this is the basis of all trading strategies. The risk management is an atomic part from every trading strategy and trading approach because without it, the market will take us out from the game very quickly. But our idea is to stay there for longer in order to make money, so that's why we need it. What's next is preserving your capital. What is the most important thing here is that the risk of your single positions and of your whole portfolio should be based on this how much risk can your bank carry. If you start from that point, you will gain experience and become profitable without receiving several margin calls. Also, the risk management is the key of how to react in different situations. This is due to the fact that even a certain position is looking in a way that it might become profitable in the future, but this is more than the risk that your bank can carry, you should cut the loser. 
After that, you can focus on your other positions or just to look for a new trade opportunity. And in the end, what is the most important thing to remember for the risk management is that it is the key to your long-term success. This was everything for this lesson and the next one is lesson 8, which is going to be the last one. I hope that this trading series is helpful for you and if you have any questions, you can leave them below every video into the comment section or you can contact with any of us directly and we will answer as soon as possible. If you like this video and you want to see more of our videos that we are posting, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the little bell because in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we have a new post. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope your trades are becoming profitable and see you again next time. Bye bye.